Hi everyone, I am Mahmoudul Hassan and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to like and subscribe for future updates. In this video, you will learn about the various features and uses of inventory visibility add-in for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, also known as Inventory Visibility Service. We will start with a basic overview of functionality that inventory visibility provides then we will dive into main features and explore how they works additionally we will review the architecture behind inventory visibility and discuss how it communicates with your external systems so let's get started Inventory visibility service is a feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365 supply chain management that provides real-time inventory visibility across multiple data sources. This allows businesses to track and manage inventory levels across various locations and systems, ensuring accurate and up-to-date inventory information. The key feature of inventory visibility is real-time inventory updates. Uh, let's say or imagine you have an online store and a physical store when someone buys a product online the inventory count immediately updates so your physical store knows how many items are left this way you don't accidentally sell more than you have scalability is another feature uh, if you have or if you are running a small local shop or a large international business with warehouses worldwide this service can handle your inventory needs whether you have 100 items or million items it can keep track of them all without slowing down it can also uh, uh, you know integration or integration is a main feature you might use different systems of your online sales physical store sales and warehouse management the inventory visibility service can connect all these systems so inventory data flows smoothly between them if an item sell online your warehouse and physical store systems are updated automatically if you sell products that come in different sizes and colors you can set up the system to track inventory for each variation separately so you will know exactly how many red size let's say red size m size uh, shirts you have not just the total number of shirts the service can generate reports showing trends like uh, which item sells the fastest which ones are often out of stock and where you need more inventory this helps you make smart decisions like ordering more of the popular product uh, before it run, runs out so insights and reporting is the key feature of inventory visibility these features help you keep accurate inventory records uh, avoiding running out of stock and manage your supply chain more efficiently Let's move to inventory visibility architecture. Inventory visibility service architecture can be broken down into four groups with their respective communication channels. Inventory visibility service contains web APIs, query instance for gathering data and in-memory cache instance for storing data. If you have Microsoft Dynamics 365 supply chain management, it has a built-in integration with the service. Out of the box, Dynamics 365 can write inventory adjustment to the service and receive accurate on-hand inventory amounts. If you have external order systems, ERPs or inventory management systems, you can connect them to the service through RESTful APIs after they have been connected. Your service will be able to write inventory adjustments to the service and receive real-time on-hand inventory amounts. 
The Dataverse component to the architecture provides an app from Power Apps that you can use to set up the inventory visibility service. Through these configurations, Dataverse has a built-in sync that's called whenever a request is made to the service or a response is sent. Dataverse is written to the inventory adjustment by the service and it returns on hand inventory information to the service. It's important that you understand these concepts and terms when you are working with the inventory visibility. A data source. Data source indicates from where the data is coming from. The inventory visibility service can gather data from various sources to provide a comprehensive and real-time view of your inventory. In this case, Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, External Order Systems, External ERP Systems, Warehouse Management Systems, and ERP e-commerce uh, uh, platforms are all can be the data sources. The other terminology is the dimensions. Dimensions identify product characteristics. They can be storage dimensions such as site and warehouse or product dimensions such as color, size or style. Physical measures are quantities that measure different inventory statuses such as on hand, purchased, on order or sold. Calculated measures, calculated measures are quantitative measures that are calculated from a set of physical measures. For example, the total available calculated measure is calculated as on hand plus purchased minus on order minus sold. So calculated measures uh, are made of physical measures. Partition. A partition defines a hierarchy for how inventory visibility will distribute received data. Currently, the default partition is site and location or warehouse. Index hierarchy. An index hierarchy further defines how you want to query inventory and obtain results that have more granularity. Visibility application. Currently, I am in Inventory Visibility Legacy UI interface. You can see there are two tabs. One is the configuration where I can do all the configurations related to Inventory Visibility app service or Inventory Visibility add-in. In Operational Visibility, I can perform all the operations that Inventory Visibility support. Uh, I, uh, even I can query my on hand inventory i can reserve the inventory or i can allocate the inventory from an operational visibility tab let me show you on hand query how it works and how we'll fetch data from different systems if i go to the organization id and select my usrt company if i select uh, my site id and my warehouse id and my product id i will type in the product id 9000 and click on query system will fetch the data that is currently on hand in another system i have connected with finance and operations uh, and system is fetching this uh, uh, data from Microsoft Dynamics 365. You can see all the physical and calculated measures that I have created for my configuration are all visible there. If I go to uh, the soft reservation tab, you can see currently there is one soft reserved inventory uh, is there in this query. If I go to, let me duplicate my tab. I will show you how I can soft reserve inventory from inventory visibility. Go to operational visibility, reservation posting, type in the quantity, select the 
operator that is soft reserve organization id site id and select my warehouse let's say my product id is 9000 in the base dimension i need to select site id and warehouse id for which i am making this soft reservation okay so the reservation is successful if i go to my on hand query and query the same data again you can see the system has added a quantity in the soft reserved measure so let me show you how can i allocate inventory from a inventory visibility ap application go to the inventory visibility operational visibility tab click on allocation if i click on the query and type in my company id on the base of company id system will show me all the products that are allocated against my different uh, customers or customer pool for the allocation i need to click on allocation select usrt let's say i will select my product type in the product quantity i will type in my quantity click on site location id type in the site id in my case is west and my location id is dc west select invoice account let's say i would select an invoice account clicking on by clicking on submit system has processed my allocation for this product in this relevant site and warehouse if i click on query again select my product select my site and my warehouse my warehouse is dc west click on submit system will show me that i have recently created an allocation for this invoice account similarly i can reallocate and consume allocation according to my requirement that's it for today in our next video we will dive deeper into the details of inventory visibility we will explore how data sources physical measures calculated measures and various features are enabled and configured within the inventory visibility application so stay tuned for more updates thank you bye Hey